Shaka and Shagawa. This is going to be the part two. First and foremost, giving all praise, glory, honor to Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Chakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching this truth and salutations to the Akian worldwide. So, what happened is that I kept the uh, recording on the break status, on the pause, for too long so that it just cut the video and uh, thus I have to do a part two, you know, a completely new recording. But it's all good, you know, doing this video is... Uh, even now I'm on the road, before that I was taking a break and uh, I had a call up so I had to had to be on the move so it's um, it's been a bumpy one this video but Lord willing it can be edifying to the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native American Indians out there and, and to you Israelite foreigners who may look like the other nations and also to the other nations you know to the heathen because it's said in the book of uh, Jeremiah that us Israelites who have uh, received this truth, we are to speak to all the nations. And it is the, the right of the Edomites, it is their right to know their future slavery, destruction and complete downfall. So if this uh, material, beginning from the elder Apostle Tahar on down, the GMS camp and the other Israelite camps who may, who not who doesn't have the 100% truth but GMS if this uh, information triggers you and makes you mad furious and you are a so-called Caucasian or heathen Moabite Ishmaelite you just gotta face it it's your future future destiny you should be actually grateful for knowing, because even the sheep who know their upcoming slaughter, they take it much easier compared to the wolves who haven't accepted it and uh, are screaming till they end, until they, they are put to, to the death. So let me carry on. Where I left off was uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, verse 11. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Who is this directed to? Is to the Babylon. Modern day Babylon is the United States of America. And this is to the governing, so called ruling elites that it is directed to. Them who are in the power seat, them to have, who have uh, control of all the resources of the world. calling the shots but they are actually following the spiritual demon Satan who is set up by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah on the right hand side so uh, they are all messed up because they think that they are against the Most High but actually they are working under the, the guidance of the Most High but their camp is uh, deception, confusion so much confusion and different measures they you know the witchcraft and different enchantment and magic spells which was the title of this video anyways you have to you have to do some manipulating you know so much manipulating and uh, different controlling and uh, different measures it's not laid back or relaxed they have to always be watching and measuring and doing different kinds of uh, moves so it's, it's a position that is that is wary and it doesn't work you know just look at this world when the wicked buried when the wicked are in uh, rulership the people mourn but when the righteous buried rule the people rejoice who are in rulership today, Malachi 1 and 4, Esau Edom, the wicked. 
and thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off, thou shalt not be able to put it off the missiles, the Isaac by missiles, nor the wrath of uh, Yahweh Shai and the angels. And the chariots of the Lord will come from uh, from to and fro, from, from, from everywhere, you know, with their angelic powers just teleporting here and there. Yahweh Shai will come in his strength and, and glory. So you shall not know where the evil that is put upon you cometh from. And thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. The everyday Edomite is not expecting to be eaten by a nuclear missile or to be ready to digest an ICBM nuclear missile. They are not meditating on that. I even had a comment on the channel where I posted Finnish lessons that uh, there was one female who said that this is probably the, the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You know, the, the, the heathens, Edomites here in Finland getting destroyed, executed by these chariots of the Lord. And there was another comment saying you should be put to the medif medical hospital. This is some other nonsense. So they are not expecting it, man. And just to mention, out here in Finland, the censoring has been really strong. Two of my channels were deleted with very little subscribers. One of them had, uh, I believe, 20, and the, the other had probably seven subscribers. And there was only a couple of videos in the, in the channel, and they just deleted them after the first strike. Not three strike after the first strike, they just deleted them. Back to the topic on verse 12. Stand now, Esau Edom, with thy enchantments, and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. And that's the point I want to touch right now. You know, you have these elite families, banking families of Esau Edom, for example, Rothschild, Rockefeller, Morgan, DuPont, Geddes, Oppenheimers just to name a few and how they operate is you know as soon as they have a male child born they start to you know educate them and put them to their system so it begins from their youth, because they understand reincarnation. First and foremost, they know that they are Edomites. Rothschild means, uh, you can translate it saying red child or red shield, whatever the case is, but it's referring to Esau Edom, you know, Edom being red. So they know, and they know the reincarnation that, you know, when they are born, they know they are, it is the same person who was controlling the situation maybe a couple of hundred years back, three generations back, four generations back. It speaks about that in the book of Exodus. So they have a program from when they have a youth, a male child born to these elite families that they start to educate them on how they rule. And they are grasping it fast because they know that they did it in their unconsciously they remember all of their their methods how to do their different wickednesses so let me continue wherein thou hast labored from thy youth if so be thou shalt be able to profit if so be thou mayest prevail so only thing is oidom has is uh, these different enchantments and magic spells i wanted to get that from um, the Merriam-Webster dictionary word enchantment and there is a couple of ones that doesn't really say anything but the third one is something I, I really would like to focus on 
which is a, a magic spell different magic spells and when you look at the international pharmaceutical logo the logo of the pharmaceutical industry and the, the logo of the pharmacies even here in Finland and uh, worldwide it is a snake showing that is just magic spells and when you go to that word pharmaceutical or pharmacy it's from the Greek word pharmakeia which means magic spells so the, today's pharmaceutical industry is something most definitely not to trust on you know you get these medicines made in these different labs and all kinds of bullshit that is just detrimental to your system you know one thing I just have to say through the spirit that your diet when you come into this truth you you notice that your diet gets a lot better you start to eat organic you start to consume different herbs you know moringa maca ashwagandha you know you start to consume tea you start fasting you start to quit eating meat a lot so all of these things come in with the truth you know I, before the truth not to even mention you you're eating all kind of abominations like shrimps porks lobster you know octopus i was eating you know sausages at least you know four four times a month you know once a once a week a couple of times a month which gives you heavy demon positions and uh, you know something you gotta avoid and book of uh, ecclesiasticus in the apocrypha says chapter 38 verse 4 that Yahweh Bashim has created medicines out of the earth you know out of the out of the land you know these different herbs so the pharmaceutical industry that's the point being part of this uh, different magic spells of Iso Edom keeping you in a zombie like status you know even if you take some aspirin or some burana or some basic ass medicines it, it already fucks you up in a state that you cannot concentrate as well as if you didn't take them that's part of their magic spells they have made everyone just useless either consuming no brain zombie that they can toy around with and put these different agendas on you know namely new roads order that they have uh, very well put to start so that's why coming this truth is is, is pivotal is, is is crucial because you start to meditate upon a lot of different things not to trust thine enemy as it says in the book of Ecclesiasticus 12 and 10 but yeah let me read on why would you be this is an example why would you be mad to try and rob green gods Harry asked spells enchantments said Hagrid so this enchantments goes to, to, to different magic spells and the example I liked here is the second one she has made an enchantment over the whole country so that it is always winter here and never Christmas so that actually gives away the harp you know weather modification system that is also an enchantment you know where I live right now for example is already the middle of uh, yeah well it's it's the middle of April by still snowing pretty much every single day and whether that's normal or or not normal over here where I live in uh, Lapland northern Finland where granted it is very wintry all year but you have some some pretty questionable weather patterns going on around here you know which you could say is harp I believe it's harp because five minutes is sunny then you drive three minute three minute uh, drive forward and you have mad rain snow and then you drive five minutes again and it's sunny like it's nothing and you have some different weather phenomena that also 
making the harp thing pretty evident, you know, the, the controlling of the weather. What happened in Texas? Snowing in Texas. Snow that didn't melt, you know. There was videos on uh, YouTube of different individuals taking of that snow, burning of that snow, and that snow not even melting. The snow won't melt in Texas. That's part of uh, these different enchantments. And even Yahweh Shai said, pray that your flight be not in the winter, nor on the, on the, on the Shabbat. You know, book of 2nd Esther chapter 16 verse 40, be, be, be ye as pilgrims upon the earth. Apostle Gabar always mentions about van life. How are you going to do that when these devils are making weather enchantments that is winter all year round? But it's not going to save them. You know, the, the right hand side of the most eyes overweighting, overweighs the left hand side. That's just how it is. Verse 13, thou are worried in the multitude of thy counsels. I was going into that through the spirit a couple of minutes earlier, you know, doing all of these different measures and enchantments. It's, 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 it's a process, it's a whole process. You know, it's not a simple and uh, peace of mind based uh, based system. Contrary to the kingdom of uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that Yahweh Shai and the angels are going to be setting up on the planet where everything is going to be done decently and in order. And there's not going to be anything extra like being worrisome to, to the Israelites. To the other nations, yes, the other nations, heathen nations, they're going to be wary in the kingdom, but not the Israelites. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. What is coming upon Esau Edom? The destruction of their whole system. ICBM missiles to the United States of Babylon, slavery, vengeance of Yahweh Shai and the angels, and there's nothing you can do to avoid that. You know, stargazers, they know about the chariots, you know, you, you cannot miss them chariots with the resources and equi uh, equipment that ESO has. And they are very well aware of the chariot sightings all over the world and you know they are basically panicking you know they're just waiting unconsciously when their end is going to come that's a horrible way of living you know not knowing if it will happen tomorrow or the day after tomorrow or after two minutes that is a horrible way of living and uh, Esau Edom, you have put yourself in that position. So nobody's pitying you. Quite contrary, everybody's waiting to, to enslave you and putting the world in order and unlocking these other planets and just reigning with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai eternally in whatever form that will take. That's what the whole project of Yasharaga are wholeheartedly waiting on and sometimes you get worried you know you have these demon possessions I myself am battling with a lot of demons all the time man and as it is with all as it is with with, with all the brothers you know sometimes you get worldly you get uh, caught up in the problems and in the in the mess, in the confusions of this world, and in those moments you have to take a day off. You know, you have to take some time, meditate on the scriptures and on the kingdom to come. You know, containing one spirit and uh, aiming for the kingdom. That's a counsel that the big of it brother Tasa Bashar gave me on the.
on the aim of uh, edification. And now I'm sharing it in this video. Just showing that, speaking also firstly to myself, you know, when giving these uh, instructions on, on, on how, to, how to walk this walk. Behold, they shall be a stubble, the fire shall burn them. I see be a missiles lasered from the chariots and Yahweh Shai just freestyling and destroying you devils. Coming on them that pierced him. Hey, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakadash. Barakata. And that's a sign just driving and just. Uh, just saw a, a reindeer. Which on this road that I'm driving on right now, there is not so many of them. I haven't seen one before. So I got to get excited and um, gave praises because it's the little things in life that, that, that uh, excite you. You know, you have a long day at work, you're a little bit weary on the plantation, and you're seeing something like that, it uh, boosts your spirit. You know, just seeing a reindeer cross the road. It's the little things, man. <laughs> God, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. Edomites, territory of uh, United States of America, Babylon, shall not be able to deliver themselves from the fire, from the hell fire, from the flaming fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth, furnace of fire, lake of fire is all talking about throughout the scriptures of United States of America being burned with nuclear missiles. Verse 15, thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander everyone to his quarter, none shall save thee. To conclude this verse and this chapter is that your future is so Edom is undeniable and inevitable and I want to conclude this lesson on a scripture from the book of Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 7 let me just read it first and then uh, I will speak on it Babylon which is the United States of America, has been a golden cup in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's hand that has made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. What I want to focus on is that Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's nice hand and that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. What is her wine? Is her different philosophies. You know, feminism, all kind of equalities, you know, LGBTQ, whatever it is, movements, all kind of different religions. All kind of different life philosophies and uh, different beliefs and what I was going on in the in the first part, you know, different, you know, visions, you know, different things that people are uh, passionate about, points of interest, you know, music. Whether it be music, the sports, you know, basketball, football, UFC, boxing. Whether it be the, the, the style of clothing, you know, the fashion. Whether it be the way of uh, speaking, you know, the lang. The, the slang, the different, uh, different terms. That is mainly 
arriving from the United States of America. And that's why you see all kinds of abominations being spread all over the world. You know, you have right now these different Muslims, these different Ishmaelites, and their females are rebelling against clothing themselves in the hijab, you know, covering their hair. Which that is scriptural, you know, covering your hair is, uh, is straight from the Bible and directed to the Israelites. And these Ishmaelites being also the children of uh, Abraham, you know, they, their customs of these different Muslims, a lot of them resemble from us Israelites because they have been taken from us. So a lot of these customs like the hijab, you know, the, the covering of the face, or these different long robes or uh, customs like washing your feet that today you, you think belongs to these Ishmaelites, so-called Arabs it's actually started from the Israelites but because our inheritance has been destroyed and polluted that the name of Israel is no more remembrance you know, you don't... that every day person doesn't know that the real Israelites are so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native American Indians. That's why you're not, you know, adding these things together. That uh, what belongs to, to who? Again, even this today, so-called Arabs, they have a movement inside their, their, their females rebelling against wearing the hijab. That is a clear-cut example of the wine of uh, Babylon being spread to the other nations and uh, the other nations are mad. You know, you have sodomy everywhere. You have these different transgenders and uh, transvestites and all the transformers that you can think of being pushed on, you know, the United States are making it acceptable and uh, glorified. You have females in high-ranking positions, you have females in armies and in policies, in positions of authority, which is totally against the scriptures. That is something that the United States of Babylon is pushing hard and has been spread to all the nations. You know, the act of gang banging, you know, bloods and cribs. You know, west side, east side, the gangster rap, hustling. That has been spreading to all towards the four corners of the earth, from Babylon. All of this being just utter bullshit, man. Totally against the scriptures. If you're hustling, what are you doing? You're stealing and you're murdering your brothers, your, your, your different Israelite brothers, you lying, most likely you're committing adultery. So that's already four examples of you totally going against the scriptures if you're in that life of uh, hustling, gang banging. So of course Babylon has to be destroyed because it's the net, nest of all these abominations and wickedness that has been spreading towards all four corners of the earth. And again, the point of this video, as saying in the book of Isaiah chapter 47, that this has been the plan of Esau, Edom and their elites to make everybody a zombie, using these different enchantments and magic spells to have people sleep and not on the truth of, uh, of the Holy Scriptures. Because these Edomites don't want to lose their, their, their ru ruler seat, you know their place of uh, being in, in power. But now it's already too late because you have the 144 elect men and the one third and the different Israelites who are counted together with the elect all over the four corners of the world who are not putting up with this bullshit of Esau Edom being in rulership anymore. And they are recognizing that we Israelites are a nation of kings and priests Royals, 
rulers of this universe, starting from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to King David on down, and that the throne belongs to us. Shogawab. <laughs>